like many of you, I've, uh, and this, I'm sure it's happened to all of us, I've come against a wall, guys. A modeler's funk. Just don't have the drive or the ambition. Well, I should say the, the inspiration to do anything right now. I've got a few ideas, but I'm waiting for things to come in. So, yeah, I've hit a wall. Bam. But I did get a few things done. If you guys stick around, I'll show you what I did get done. Be back in a second. Hello, everyone. Gilbert here. And I welcome you all to my little part of uh, YouTube, Red Dragon Model. Like I said in the beginning here, I've come, I've just ran right into a wall, bam. Um, I've, uh, it's not that I'm, after giving it a few minutes of thought here, it's not that I've run out of inspiration, I just, I think I've run out of drive for a while, you know, just, uh, I'm in a funk, a modeler's funk. Um, got the modeler's mogies. Now, it's not for lack of inspiration as I just said it's just you know I've been you know stressing how I'm going to redo this room now it, I know it doesn't need stress but you know I'm trying to redo this room uh, to fit my purposes you know bench all the way around lighting um, shelving units you know you name it and um the kits that I do have are more military than anything else. So, yeah, I just, I don't want to do anything military, man. You know, it's, it's I got a few cars here, but, and I got a, a couple of Gundams, but I was, you know, brother sent me those. But I, I want to hold off on those for later. I wanted to do those in August sometime. But, let me show you what I did get done. Now, most of you guys know that, um, or some of you that are part of the Styrene Syndicate or have watched my videos. My brothers and I at the Styrene Syndicate, we're doing a um, an appreciation group bill for Brian, uh, Atomic Dog 32. And now, the appreciation build can be anything. You can build whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It could be a car, a ship, a plane, sci-fi figure. It doesn't matter. War game, it doesn't matter. But there's one stipulation. It has to have a dog somewhere in there. So we've gotten some really cool um, bills out there so far. And you can go check them out here. Styrene Syndicate Google Plus Community page. I encourage you guys to also upload those. Those of you that are either um, in this uh, group build, go to our, if you got Facebook, go to our Facebook community page, Styrene Syndicate community page, and upload them there also. We're building a community there, guys, and, and it's, uh, it's you know, when guys post there, they, they talk back and forth, you know. Um, if you need a question answered or if you have a, uh, an idea, whatever, you know, somebody will get back to you like that. So, what am I doing for that? Well, I still need to go. I'm going to pick up a base this weekend because I want to get this off of my desk. But I picked up a couple of chibi guys here at the Adepticon this year. As soon as I saw this, I thought of Brian. So, I finished painting this one. Um, now, I'm just going to, I need to put a coat on it, dull coat on there. But I got him. I did a little, this little cat. These were done in the AK True Metals, all the metal parts here, and then buffed out there. And then there's some right in there. That was a pain to paint. But that. Did a little mummy. I just went over him about two hours ago with a wash. And I'm just going to let that, make sure that's all dry. And then I'll hit that little cat with a, a dull coat. And um, the little dog, the little chibi dog. I still need to go in and just a little hint of a lighter pink towards the end of his ear here. Just to give it a little character, a little blending. These these figures are cute. Um, they didn't have a lot of detail on them. 
but what little detail they had yet, you worked around. There was nothing in the eye. You had to figure out how to paint that on your own, but that's pretty cool. I think I like them. I think they came out okay. I just need to get them on a, uh, a base and get the base done, and she's all done. Um, I also worked on this. This is a uh, Wrath of Kings game piece. Uh, you can, if cool mini or not, you can find this game piece on um, Miniature Market. It's a Fulong Devourer. So it's an Oriental Dragon. It feels like plastic, you know, like that uh, Games Workshop plastic. It's not resin. It's got that Games Workshop plasticky feel to it. Um, you get uh, a figure. And with this guy, you hit, uh, it also comes with a separate head, and he's got, like, horns sticking out of the helmet, and it's got a different arm with a sword in it. So you can make this guy two different ways, and it's got a different pack in the back, a little jet pack in the back, a little different. Um, the same with the dragon. The dragon has a, the, the tail, and I think I did a pretty good job of hiding where the seam was at, but the tail is, like, right in here. But it's a, it comes with a shorter one. It comes up this way. Well, it's they're both the same length, but one comes this way and out this way. And the whiskers, instead of being swept back, it also has whiskers that, you know, they curl out. So I ordered another one of these, man, because I really liked them. Um, I'm going to pay more for it at Miniature Market. But um, yeah, I think it's worth it. I like it. I also, uh, in our hangout the other day, last hangout I did this guy now I still need to do some touch up work with him and I'll show you what I mean I still need to go and redo this now this figure at one time had a sword right here and I cut the sword out you know drill that out so I can add a paintbrush in there so his weapon of choice is a paintbrush so I need to go back in and touch that up because that was facing the back and I had a hard time I had pressed down in there and I couldn't get it out so I was wor I worked it out a little bit. I'm going to go in here and all these raised pieces and then touch it up with uh, a silver. You know, there's raised pieces all around here. So I'm going to touch those up with silver and his chest piece here. And then once that's done, I'll hit it with a dull coat to tone it down some. You know, um, uh, or maybe just uh, before the dull coat, I'll hit it with like a, a matte varnish. And then go in and start detailing it, you know, and weathering it up. And then once that's done, I'll go in. Well, before I do all that, I'll have this painted. I want to try to get this like marble and then this like concrete, you know. So, and then I'll, I got a base for him already. And he's going to sit on a base. And there's going to be cards like right here. So he's going to sit right here on my desk. So I got him the, um, the base coat on him. I also... Um, I, I have this little kit. It's a Wave Gons, a 120th scale Wave Gons. Now, the way I acquired this one here is I bought a, um, a nut rocker on eBay from a seller in Japan. I'm sorry, no. South Korea. And he, he, he advertised it as a 120th scale nut rocker, and it was a fantastic price. I get it. It's a 172nd nut rocker, and an older one at that. So I sent him back, and I was pretty upset. You know, I was angry at, that he had, you know, misrepresented what he was selling. So he sent me this to make up for it. Although it was, it's missing in the kit, the shield. Well, he did tell me that, that it was missing the shield. And it was missing a spring right here. Other than that, it's okay. I don't like the shield on there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Or I can either I can I can cut one and put one in there. So I got another one of these coming, the Lunagons coming. And I want to have them both together. So that's a long term project. That's not something I'm gonna do right away. The other thing, I wanted to get these figures that I picked up, assembled, um, primed, and then sat here so I have them all in front of me so I know what I need to do finish painting them and just work on my brush painting because I got, I got another set of brushes to go with my series sevens I'll show you those in a second it's this guy right here now this is a corn bloodthirster um where's the box here it is this is this guy right here 
That's what it retails for. That's not what I paid for. I see a lot of people painting in this this color or the one on here on the front. I'm not going to paint it these colors. I'm going to go with a variation of this, but more browns in there and mahoganies. Same with the body. I don't want them all red. I want them like a mahogany and tans, you know, and that, stuff like that there. But some beautiful detail. Look at that. This is going to be really, really cool. Now, you could have, I could have posed them either this way with this or just standing on the ground. I chose it this way because I thought it was pretty cool. But I paid 80 bucks for this at Adepticon. And I'm going to tell you something, man. This is an insane, insanely detailed model figure. It comes with another whip uh, hand, and it holds the whip that comes up this way, and it's got a hammer. And it also, or it comes with another hand that's holding a, um, a, another axe here, and it comes this way, a real big axe. I chose it this way because I like the stance on that. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping that this will take my, um, this is going to try my skills for what I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm going to attempt to do with it. But I'm hoping this is, uh, this will take my, my figure painting to the next level. So that's going to be a project that I am not in a big hurry to do right now. So, as I said, I, I've hit a wall, man, and, and don't know what it is that I want to build. I really enjoyed doing my Aero Fantasma cars, and I'm going to do another one. I have a 148th, uh, what is that, a 190? I have a 132nd 109, BF 109. I might, I might end up doing that one, the 132nd BF 109. I also have a 148 um, Spitfire. Now I know that's going to cause all some of you brothers, ah, he's going to chop up the Spitfire. Yeah, it's blasphemous, but they, they'll come out cool. So... Not yet there yet. I don't know if that's the one I want to chop up. There's a couple other ones I want to do, but we'll get there when we get there. The other thing that I'm working on is my variation of a Mad Max car. Now, Richie, our Saturn, right here, he's doing a uh, 70 Buick GSX for a, um, a friend of his, a co-worker, that has a, uh, a convertible one. Now, if you check out Richie's channel right here, he's got the second... Uh, installment in that where he's already opened the doors and everything so he's going to chop the roof open the doors all that other stuff i built a version of this car about a year and a half ago um and i used a acrylic paint on it um, i'm not good with acrylic paints man not not on a car body because i'm one of those that it, I, any little imperfection i got to get it out of it. i'll start sanding polishing sanding polishing and I had trouble with, and it's the first time I ever tried the, the I followed Chris Cortell right here, Classic Plastic 101s. But for some reason, man, that paint just kept, it would hit, it looked great, I covered it, went to bed, got up in the morning, it was bubbled in different places and peeling, so I just said to hell with it. I ended, I ended up stripping it, I think, two or three times, and then I shot another coat on there, and it held. So I left it. So this is the car I'm, I'm going to be doing. A 70 GSX Buick. I got this from Classic Classic 101, Chris Cortell. Thank you, Chris. Um, but some of you that have watched my channel, you guys know that I'm a, I'm a big Mad Max fan. I just love that movie. Um, I've got another one in the works here with the tanker and all that. But there's I'm picking up parts that I'm going to use for this because that's going to take a lot of scratch building. A lot of kit bashing. So, I don't have a Ford Falcon, so I figured I'd use the body for this. As you can see, I already cut the trunk out. I'm going to, uh, I need some drums. Some Either make my own um, fuel tanks, you know, like fuel cells to put in here, you know, or put some 55-gallon uh, drums in here, two of them, one on each side, and then all the plumbing and everything. I need to do a little bit more research because once I get the drums and I sit them in here, I don't want them sticking out the back, number one. So I might have to trim this down right in here 
take this, you know, the, the bucket down. I might have to end up doing some cutting on this. This piece right here, cut it out. All this. Slide it in. And once that's sitting in there, like so, I'll cut, the, cut it out from here. This angle right here, and here and here. And then once those barrels are in there, use some strip styrene to cover up everything else. You know, like a little uh, floor there. So I could take the floor from here once the this is put in there. And just follow the floor like that and I'll put the walls on there. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing with this. I got a pretty good idea of what I want to do with it. It's going to be my version of the Road Warrior. Excuse me. Um, so yeah. Other than that, man, I'm just like, bam, up against the wall, dudes. You know, just um, between that and the drama. You know, no matter. <laughs> we won't get into that. Um, the other thing I'd like to mention is um, there is a competition going on. It's a, a, a contest, a painting contest. Um, right here. Scale model. I'm sorry. Solvent Abuse UK. Right here. My brother Dredd. He's got a 2000 AD themed um, competition going on. And some pretty cool swag. You go check them out right here. Solvent Abuse UK. Um, I encourage you guys to join it. You know, it does, you know, you don't have to be a professional painter to join that, man. Just throw your hat in there. You're, it's fun. You know, you can get the, the 2000 AD uh, figure or whatever or, or scratch bill something or whatever. As long as it's a 2000 AD themed, uh, Judge Dredd themed, um, enter it. You know, it's got some really cool swag there, guys. Really nice. The other brother I'd, I'd like to mention right now, um, he's doing a uh, Bradley co-op build. Now, there's a few people out here that I would recommend when it comes to armor. And one of them is this cat right here, Norm Joao. Now, Norm is one hell of a uh, military builder. Pretty good at it. He's also done, I think, uh, a couple of um, speeder bikes, uh, Stormtrooper speeder bikes. Pretty good. You go check them out. But he's doing a Bradley co-op build. He's got a few other people. I think Mark O'Neill is in that with him. Um, a couple other people are. Um, I'm trying to remember who else is in there. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I I'm subscribed to them, and I'm just drawing a blank right now. But if you ever have a question about modern armor, that's the man you need to speak to. The man is, is precise. He knows his business. Um, he's got a couple of videos up, you know, with this co-op build. There's other videos he has, but with this Bradley. And I love the way the man thinks. I love this process. And I love the way he shows you what he's doing, why, he, and he explains why he's doing it. And when he's done, it is beautiful. So I encourage you guys, check them out, Norm Lejoie. So, the other thing, um, don't forget, the Atomic Dog Group Bill runs until August. You can upload your stuff to the Styrene Syndicate Google Plus community page or the Styrene Syndicate right here, the Facebook page. I Again, I also have my Red Dragon Model Works Facebook page. You are all welcome to post your work there. It doesn't matter what it is, you know, as long as it's hobby related have at it guys so while I sort out what I'm going to do with this room here thinking about having a bench that wraps all the way around got the, the lighting and the benches and all the, the shelving that I'm going to put up it's just a daunting nightmare moving everything out of here to redo it all so I don't know that's, I guess, that's why I'm hitting the wall, you know, just having to move everything out of here and then bring it all back in. It's just, ugh. So anyway, don't forget Saturday is the Styrene Syndicate show. And right after that, we have the Styrene Syndicate hangout. You'll find the link to the hangout on Red Dragon Model Works uh, Facebook community page or the Styrene Syndicate Facebook community page. Um, either that or you can go right at the bottom here. You'll see a little thing that pulls out um it actually will be on this site it'll come out and it'll say be a part of this uh conversation you hit that link it'll take you right into the to the hangout 
and from there you can request an invite if you don't do the Facebook. Other than that, we don't monitor the, the YouTube pages, nor do we monitor the, the Facebook pages when we're on here, because it's just too much to have to do, man. You know, you're trying to build when you're hanging out with the guys or talking, and you're monitoring three or four different pages. So I encourage you guys, when you if you're watching the Hangout, you'll see it, when you first turn it on right here, you'll see it'll little tab will come out and it'll say be a part of the conversation click here click on that it'll take you right to the hangout from there you can you can on the question it'll come up over here the question tabs will come up over here you can request an invite if not go to the styrene syndicate facebook page or the styrene or the red dragon model works facebook page and the links will be up there so you guys can come in so i hope your guys week is going well uh, be good to your children. Love your families. You know, stay safe. Leave the drama to the queens. And, um, you know, if you can think it up here, guys. If it's up here, 